This video is about vascular malformations. To understand that, we need to understand the three main types of blood vessels. In our body, we have arteries, we have veins, and we have lymphatic blood vessels. All these blood vessels have a purpose. They are either taking blood to our organ or bringing back blood or lymphatics back to the heart. You may have seen people with a port wine stain on the face or an enlarged arm with a tangle of blood vessels in it. Those are vascular malformations and they can happen anywhere in the body. They're not like tumors and they don't grow fast and they don't spread. Sometimes they may not bother the person and then nothing needs to be done. There are several types of vascular malformations, including what's called an AVM or arteriovenous malformation, where there is a connection between an artery directly to a vein causing a very rapid flow. But there are also venous malformations, lymphatic malformations, capillary malformations, and some malformations are just mixed. But most importantly, we classify them in high-flow vascular malformations and low-flow vascular malformations. It's, and this is very important because the treatment will depend on that. Usually the high-flow vascular malformations are the AVMs, and these high-flow vascular malformations are usually treated by angiography, by navigating a small catheter all the way to the artery feeding the malformation, and then injecting some type of glue or onyx, which is another type of glue, into the malformation so we can eradicate it. In the other hand, the low flow vascular malformations, they have very low flow. So there's not really an artery feeding them. And how do we treat them? We treat the same way that we treat some varicose veins with a method called sclerotherapy. And that's when we go in with a needle and sometimes we inject contrast to make sure we are getting the entire vascular malformation. And we do under x-ray guidance and we inject a medication that will kill the vascular malformation from the inside. Of course, it's sometimes difficult to treat the entire vascular malformation because this can be big and they can have many vessels inside it. In some situations, it may also be possible to surgically resect them. The problem with surgical resection is they're very difficult to treat and sometimes they can recur even after surgical removal. In summary, if you have a vascular malformation and it's not bothering you and it's not in the brain or the spine, you probably don't need to do anything about it. You can just watch it. And if it starts bothering you, then we can think about treatment. But if they're bothering you, there are several minimally invasive options that can help. I hope this helps. This is Minimally Invasive Insights and see you next time.